Welcome to Uncanny Automator, the automation platform that connects your WordPress plugins, sites, and apps together. In the next five minutes, we'll cover everything you need to know to start building your first automations. Automator works its magic with objects called recipes. These tell WordPress that when something happens, something else should happen. Here's a very simple recipe that says when a user redeems a code, we'll add a tag to their profile in ActiveCampaign and send them an email. Let's take a closer look at how to create a recipe. The first step is choosing a recipe type. Logged in recipes are triggered by users that are signed in and with a WordPress account, so typically there's user data involved. Recipes for everyone can be triggered by visitors as well as WordPress users. A good example here would be a form submission. In most cases, you will want the recipe triggered by any type of submission. Once you choose a recipe type, Naming it is the next step. Choose something that accurately summarizes the recipe. Next are triggers, which tell Automator when a recipe should run. Maybe it's on form submission, product purchase, or when data is received from another website. When you add a trigger, Automator will show what triggers are available based on the plugins you have installed and the apps you have connected. To add a trigger, Choose the integration that includes your trigger and then set up parameters that will fire the recipe. Keep in mind that if you have multiple triggers, all of them must be completed to run the actions. The action section is next and it defines what will happen in the recipe. In this example, when a user purchases a product, Automator will add a tag and send an email. Adding the tag and sending the email are the actions. Next up is the recipe section, where you can define how many times per user a recipe will run, how many total times, how many times it's been run, and other tools. The times per user value is useful in situations where maybe only a user's first purchase unlocks something, and total times might come up in a scenario where you offer a bonus to the first 100 customers only. Now that we've covered the basics of a recipe, it's time to unlock their secret weapon, tokens. Tokens are variables like a user's name, today's date, or maybe a value in a form that you can use inside recipes. Let's use this email action as an example. Suppose we want to greet the user by name. We can use this token section here to look at the available tokens, and in the top section, choose the user's first name. This populates a special token in the email, and you'll see it looks different than regular text. So if different people run this recipe, each user would see their own name. If we go back into tokens, you'll see other sections, including sections that are based on the trigger in the recipe. Here's something interesting. Maybe you want to check all of your form data and tokens in the email. You can just right-click the token section, then tell Automator to add all token values from that section. This is really useful for testing data inside recipes. Uncanny Automator isn't just limited to WordPress plugins. It can connect WordPress sites to apps like Google Sheets, Twitter, Slack, and more. For many users, this means it can completely replace tools like Zapier. These premium non-WordPress integrations are available for free plugin users to try using a credit system. If you create a free optional account, you can run actions to connect to the services up to 1,000 times. After that, you can upgrade to a pro account to get unlimited use of API-based integrations. Everything we've covered so far is available to everyone using our free plugin version. The pro version of Automator, besides adding hundreds of extra triggers and actions for WordPress plugins, as well as unlimited credits, also adds extra features. Let's take a look at a recipe again, but this time maybe we want to send the email five minutes after the triggers are completed. With Proactive, you'll see a new button to delay or schedule actions which we'll click now. This is how you can schedule actions to run later. Beyond dripped email campaigns, this could be used for something like sending a coupon the day after a purchase, or resetting someone's course progress a year after they buy it. 
Another really useful feature is support for conditional actions. This allows you to run actions on some users only, even if the triggers are met. Maybe the tag should only be added if the user's email address ends in uncannyowl.com. This is how we can set the rule up. Notice how information about the users and the triggers we saw before are available as conditions. We can even add multiple conditions. And when you do this, you can choose whether all conditions or only one must be met to run the action. Uncanny Automator isn't just a black box. You can see and track everything that happens on your site. There are full sets of logs with details, like we're showing on screen now. There are also troubleshooting tools. You can even use Automator recipes to create alerts. Have a look at some of the triggers available here. Uncanny Automator is a huge plugin, and while it's really easy to get started, there are a lot of integrations and a lot of power. There's a robust knowledge base when you have questions, and our blog includes dozens of how-to articles that provide step-by-step -step instructions to build complex recipes. If you're a developer, make sure to check out our guides at developer.automatorplugin.com. There's also complete code documentation at docs.automatorplugin.com. Whether you're new to the world of automations or an experienced developer, Uncanny Automator will make whatever you do with WordPress easier. Make sure to follow us for more tips, and we hope you find Automator a useful addition to your website.